Apple Incorporated officially unveiled its highly anticipated updates to its mobile and desktop operating systems today at its annual Worldwide Developers Conference in San Francisco, California. Apple CEO Tim Cook said the updates were designed to help the company's devices all work together in harmony. Apple unveiled its new desktop operating system, OS X10, also known as Yosemite, following Apple's naming of systems after beautiful places in California. Apple also unveiled a new streamlined programming language called Swift. The reveal that got the biggest crowd reaction from 6,000 Apple developers gathered at the Marscone Center. What would it be like if we had Objective-C without the baggage of C? Well, we did more than think about it. We have a new programming language. The language is called Swift, and it totally rules. OS X10, which will be available for free to consumers in the fall, is focused on making it easier to share information among Apple devices with new continuity tools. But another major attention grabber was Apple's new iOS 8 operating system. And for details, we go to the convention itself. And iOS 7 took that experience to an even higher level. The customer sat with iOS 7 is really off the charts. ChangeWave recently measured it at 97%. These are customer sat ratings that no one gets. It's really enormous. Now, one of the reasons why customers say they love iOS is that we make available our software updates for for the OS available to as many customers as possible. And if you look at what has happened with iOS 7, our latest release, almost nine out of 10 people in our install base are running our latest operating system. <laughs> now, this is in stark contrast to Android. If you look at their latest release, less than one out of 10 of their customers are on their latest software. And if you looked at a broader group, over a third of their customers are running a version of Android from four years ago. That's like ancient history. <laughs> now, that means that these customers are not getting great new features. They're not able to run your latest apps. And they don't get security updates that they may need to stay safe. And this is particularly important for Android, which dominates the mobile malware market. No wonder experts are saying things like this. Android fragmentation is turning devices into a toxic hell stew of vulnerabilities. Now, fortunately, iOS hasn't had these kind of issues because we do everything we can to make our updates available to as many people as possible. So we could not be happier with iOS 7 and the momentum of iOS devices, but we are not standing still. Today, we're announcing iOS 8. And iOS 8 is a giant release, and it's really two stories, not one. It has great end-user features, but it also has incredible developer features. So you can extend your experience and build apps that you couldn't do before. So what do you think of Apple's announcement? Did it meet the hype or did it flop? 
Share your thoughts on this topic and more by commenting on the video below or via Twitter at AskModernWallStreet.